now time is definitely of the essence. If you come up with something which is uh, what you consider to be very important and something is potentially marketable for that matter, or something that you could potentially license or sell to another company, uh, what's very important now is to realize that you have to move very quickly. You have to try to get those protections in place as best you can. So uh, the initial thing you need to do is to contact a, a patent professional, an attorney, for example, that has a good background, and request to them to see if they will institute for you a good solid patent search in order to determine what is out there right now that we know of. And when that comes back to move as quickly as possible to draft and file an application that covers that subject matter that is of necessity for your purposes as best you can and try to broaden it out as much as you can as well to try to uh, be able to foreclose competition if need be in that area. It's, it is a very complex situation but trying to move quickly and be very vigilant as to what else is out there is going to be very important moving forward. I think it's going to have two competing impacts. Um, it's going to eliminate some of the uncertainty that has been an issue in litigation about who invented something first because now the filing date uh, is going to be a major factor in resolving that particular issue. Um, at the same time, however, because of the pressure uh, to comply with the um, first-to-file uh, regime, so to speak, I think you're going to see some people rushed, uh, maybe going to a lawyer at the last minute uh, or trying to put something together themselves at the last minute, and they may have a bigger risk of running afoul of all of the other um, uh, difficulties in getting a patent that are not changed by the legislation. It has to be uh, an invention, has to be novel, has to not be obvious. It can't have been anticipated in something that somebody has done before, whether it's another invention or an article or a book or a, a video interview or whatever. None of those requirements have changed as a uh, People like Bill in the firm and I discuss all the time, uh, when you're drafting a patent application, you're not only drafting it for the examiner in the patent office, but you may ultimately be writing it for a jury that's going to have to decide whether it's valid or not. Um, and uh, that's a whole different ball game. Simplicity can be key or clarity can be key in these things. And if people get in a rush over this first to file, uh, stampede, uh, then we may see even more problems uh, with poorly written patents than we've seen in the past. Um, so it's two competing difficulties, uh, two competing factors.